Yeah, it does look like people have been living here. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Extremely careful. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh! There's a drone in here. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am PLE. I am the Mass Explorer, and I take you to anywhere and anything abandoned. Definitely, guys, we are here today at a conference center in Orlando, Florida, where we're going to go check this huge baby out. This is a resort, a sun resort, I believe. And it's got a long history since 1972. This is the history, guys. The Orlando Sun Resort and Convention Center first opened in 1972 as the Hyatt Orlando Resort. The Hyatt was a prime location less than five minutes away from the Magic Kingdom. The location benefited throughout the years with the openings of Disney's multiple parks, such as the Epcot in 1982, Hollywood Studios in 1989, and Universal Studios in 1990. After the September 11th attacks, Central Florida's tourism industry decreased out of fear of a repeat attack. Hotel occupancy rates in Central Florida dropped from 66% to 44%. Total visitors to the area dropped more than 2.7 million and more than 10,000 jobs were lost. In May 2002, it was announced that Orlando Hyatt Hotel Association LP filed bankruptcy. Orlando Hyatt at the time owed the bank $29.5 million. Less than a year later, on September 12, 2003, the Hyatt Orlando Resort abruptly closed its doors, giving only a day's notice to employees, and guests were told in the morning to leave by noon. After years of sitting vacant, the resort reopened as the Orlando Sun Resort on June 2007. Since its opening, the resort was plagued with issues of mildew and mold, pools of stagnant water, as well as how outdated it looked. Lack of maintenance, mismanagement, and bad reviews were to blame for the resort's all timely close in 2012. Looks like we're not gonna be able to get inside of this one. But that's not disappointing at all. This is like the first thing you see when you're walking into like the area here. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to even. No. No, but we're not missing out much on this. Most likely people are living here. Yeah, it does look like people have been living here. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Extremely careful. One of the pieces of furniture from the, the hotel itself, or the center. Look, it's the gate for the security. Oh, this is crazy. This is really becoming crazy. Look, it's kind of caved in through there. This is where the cars would actually go in and you would get your reservation for the, the day, the week, whatever, how long you're here. This is the convention center. This is crazy. If you can just see the life size of what this place is. Just look at that.
Man, it had to caught on fire. Yeah, you can smell it. Look, wow. dude, there's like um, where you get your food and stuff. Oh wow, yeah. And probably somewhere like a a dining experience right here. Yeah, just there, yeah. Fountain. Look at that ceiling. Oh, this is beyond damaged. Totally. And we've had some uh, pretty bad weather lately, so you can see that the, f the floor is absolutely soaked. So there's a the real fire down there. And this Ew. thing, yeah, really. It even smells like urine in here. Yeah, urine and poop. That's what it smells like. I'm sure it's both. Another fountain. I'm sure it's gonna be, yeah, it's a bit muddy in here. Oh, this is crazy. Sorry guys, I'm being so quiet. Kind of somewhat being quiet. But this is just, I've never been in a convention center on a large scale before that's abandoned. Oh, this is sick. Unbelievable. Look at the roof. That would be your reception. No, actually, that's the bar. Look where the roof separates. So we're not wearing the right shoes for this, and uh, it's very muddy, muddy because uh, all the years, after all the years of uh, rain and stuff coming in, made everything soot, especially since it probably caught on fire. Look at the old um, floors here. Of course, more of uh, your dining area. Some kind of meeting rooms, I'm guessing. Oh, this is wicked. Yeah, this is better here. Now you can see the old floors. The fans. The fans don't even curve like they do further north up on the... Uh, East Coast. It's better over here. Look at this. Gift shop, soda, coffee, groceries, gifts, souvenirs, film cards. This was from like 2012. Because if I'm correct, this place closed in 2012. So it just stands alone in time. Orlando Sun Souvenirs. I don't think it's even worth going back in there. Oh, nothing but glass everywhere. I 
I'm going to try with this really old carpet. No, nothing special back here except for mold. And the one thing that stays untouched are these light fixtures and the light bulbs themselves, clean as it was put in yesterday. Looks like it was put in yesterday. Oh, there's stairs. We're gonna try to go up the stairs. Paperwork. Convention turnover. Distributed December 17th, 02. That is crazy. So a piece of paper that's written December 17th, 2002. Wow. That's actually really cool. I'm sorry, my chin's dripping. Can you see it? No, we're all, yeah, you're like me. <laughs> it's dripping like a fountain. Oh, look, that's where you put your, like, postcards on. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't like that. I don't know, it's from upstairs. Could be someone living here. You know, all that raindrops is making it sound like someone's here. Oh, you gotta look at this part. Yeah, we're going to investigate that. It's a diner. Don't know what kind of diner it was, but it's definitely a diner. This insane there's so much to see that you just raindrops on me so much to see I don't think I can actually get to it all the kitchen oh this is so crazy it's kind of like going out west again. Freezers. Oh my God. The grill. Salad dressings, Ramada. This might've been a Ramada at some point. Look, time stands still. At twelve thirty seven. Yeah, it's me. Oh, my God, this goes way back. like the inner workings of all of the um the dining it's the washer for all the trays and dishes that's all this really is that rain makes it sound like someone's over there so i'm just gonna walk away yeah there's nothing really in here Maybe ovens. Oh, look at this, the ovens. Yeah, 
and a big, huge, like, blender. All right, so I'm done. I'm walking out of the kitchen. All right, sorry, babe. So I just got to check out one of these rooms. I think this is going to be the best spot. One of them. If not this one. These are very small rooms for a big place. See the... They put uh, markings in here for some reason. But look at the, uh, yeah, look at the, the paintings here. Of tropical weather. kitchen. This is the kitchenette slash bathroom. The blue tube, look at that. It's a real deal. It's an older, uh, of course it would be. Like over 10 years. Okay. Normally yeah. I'm a bodyguard, I'm just going to take a quick peek so I okay. can show Go for it. the unexplainable bunch. Go for it. Okay. So, I believe there's someone staying up here because these uh, mattresses are blocking and plus the blinds. You know, we're going to have to be pretty uh, cautious about this because I don't know how people are in Florida, especially the homeless. Um, not that I'm trying to make a, a difference here, but... Uh, People can be aggressive about where they live, right? Because that this is their home, and uh, unfortunately, so we have to just watch where we're going in our territories here, in their territories. Oh, this is crazy stuff! Look, it says convention center right there, and humane services. For unemployment human resource office employment center i can tell there's someone that lives there because the, the clothes are hanging up yeah but i'm gonna go, go over there, though. i'm gonna go right here and look at the pool i'm just gonna get Try to Is get that up to the it. Tour? That's no, that's not the main one, but I just want to get a picture of it okay. to stay out of the the guy's, you know, sight. Okay. That's just wonderful. I'm just gonna say we're gonna try and be quiet. Look here, these I'm tripping over freaking palm leaves. Trip over. Okay, we're gonna try and get as close as we can, but we're gonna be quiet.
few days just to go inside, guys. I hope you have a good one. Uh, there's, there's people that are here that are walking around. They know they're here. This one's been burnt to a crisp. More of the, uh, more of those signs here, more of the writing. It says Orange Blossom 3000. I think that's the end of it right there, so we can... Yeah. Hold on. You didn't see us. Yeah, probably someone over there. Right, let's go this way. Okay, hey, look, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Can we go back that way? Yeah. There's someone there as well. Oh, it's another homeless person, but she looks, she looks okay. huge place of course they got all these little hotels like in buildings one part right here another down there and more around the back of this convention center i gotta tell you one thing guys this is really beyond epic to me not just epic this is just great it, it's it's a privilege to actually come here and explore this. I never thought a time in my life I'd be down here in Florida giving you guys content, giving you guys history on anywhere else than, you know, the northern east coast. This is, this is, so, this is so cool. Travel 66, you know, got a lot of places all the way down to California, Arizona, California. This place had so many memories of so many awesome vacations and traveling destinations for families, as well as Disney. You would mainly come here just to visit Disney and to have fun with the kids. This is, this is so sad. All right, guys, so that wraps up today. I hope you enjoyed this Explorer here. This was really, it's a hot day. It must be like 95 degrees. I don't just, I just don't mean the heat itself. I mean like the humidity is really high. And especially me in this, oh God, I am suffering. So guys, that's the end of our Explorer for today. Hope you've enjoyed this huge resort that was important somewhat important to Disney itself and it's very nearby so this is this is it this is the abandoned Orlando Sun Resort so guys I hope you've enjoyed this and I will catch you guys on the flip